alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulul karim amma ba'd um in the first place we thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for granting us the blessing of this day granting us the blessing of this hour and then um, giving us the uh, reward or the blessing of the month of ramadan may allah accept our fast and may allah add us to the people who sins uh, will be forgiven in this ramadan now um you are watching us live on mam tv listening to us live on uh, mam online radio um this is the book review show the book review show um on mam online radio and tv my name is abdul aziz shawai bishak i'm your host and today i'll be having or helping me to deal with the topic or the book that we are currently on is my brother idris muhammad awal um, over here with me in the studio um inshallah we will continue from where we left off with the book that we started with which is um the muslim home by sheikh muhammad saleh al munajid the muslim home we have been discussing um the muslim home and um how we can raise uh, a befitting or or an excellent islamic uh, home as far as the marriage and then you know the child upbringing is concerned um, this is what we have been looking at and this book is very brief but very comprehensive and deals so much um, with the topic and uh, we have been recommending this book for every uh, person we either married or unmarried if we're able to um, take this book go through it it's going to help us a lot inshallah in our lives um in your name a gd for mutia and your mom online radio and tv so our program we are the book review show um the book review show no a program be a your fab book by aqua um now you try say nim dia wo book num no you be she na yet me a sunya a dear free uh book num send yes that you know a bosom a bear me and say um bosom a baku a chair mono um yes that you with a book i a friend with a muslim home written by sheikh muhammad saleh al munajid um so book we a kasafa if ye any um islam send yes say build the abusia eye em eyire ekunu ne eyire asetena na afi so enkwala eni bibia efa abusua asetena ho no um first chapter no we did an introduction of the book second chapter it's okay about the formation of the household akwa e befa so e dey efie no eh aka yaka efie na boom talking about a marriage process and all that and then the second a third um chapter it's okay about no eh creating an atmosphere of faith in the house it may be a fear no no i will say a fear no uh atmosphere no send a fear in the no i will say maybe you'll be a rough you know say i feel with the gd what i say hey no so you're actually quite a bit fast so now yes i didn't know the next and we talked about islamic knowledge in the home say be here say um if you and i'm cream for your tv you know will be a a bit to an amount be a far a year islam in the home say you couldn't ever say even before you get married crown you should have some you know good knowledge in the deen i think so or you're in so you should have some fund foundational knowledge of the deen and i think so and kuala no so no kwan ebe faso no yate ti omo or islam so e kwan so no e no so e wo and now we are moving on to the fifth um, um, um chapter of the book the muslim home and this chapter deals with meetings at home and kuta hudie ah ye be no fie meetings say um papa ne mame and i say the entire family no e kwan e be faso e shia shia na faso dia e wo in shia mu a e shia mu o fie mu no um today we are going to deal with that so um we wouldn't be wasting much time like i said already this is the book review show mom online radio and tv um we are dealing with the book the muslim home written by sheikh muhammad saleh al munajji this program as we are all aware and other um the other of our programs is sponsored by the likes of b uh, b adams trading uh, which deals with um you know car spare parts and other you know uh, things related to engines and cars you are going to get it at b adams trading um located at swami magazine um the other sponsor is b musa phones and accessories if you want any kind of phone or you know the parts of the phones or accessories you are going to get it at b musa phones at edum uh, we also have another branch at pz and another one also at bantama as well and then we also have leading edge academy um it's an islamic school islamic and uh, arabic and english school located at parkoso uh, uh, inshallah these are our sponsors uh, we thank them very much and uh, more uh, sponsors are welcome um so that we'll be able to bring you more quality uh, programs and services 
on this network, inshallah. So without wasting any further time, I'll move straight to my brother, uh, brother Idris Mohammed Awal. You are welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Yes, like I said, today we are dealing with um, the meetings at home. And meetings at home, I think the first part of the meetings at home deals with creating an um, environment, creating an opportunity for the families uh, to meet. So dealing with that one, no, what do we have to say? أعوذ بالله السلام والعليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور عنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يحد إلا فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا حادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمدا صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم عبده ورسوله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي عمري وعلل عقدة من لساني يفكو كولي عما بعد We give thanks, praises and adorations to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We ask his forgiveness and to protect us from the consequences of our deeds and to protect us from Jahannam and to protect us from our enemies We give thanks again to our viewers and our listeners worldwide, nationwide. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase all of us in knowledge. And we also give thanks to the management of MAM online. May Allah increase them in goodness. May Allah forgive their shortcomings and grant them the best this Ramadan. May Allah make this Ramadan a turning point for all Muslims. May Allah put us among those who came from this month of Ramadan. Now, we've been discussing this book that the Muslim home and I quite remember we said that household form neighborhood and neighborhood becomes or form societies. So if the building blocks are sound, the society will definitely be sound. That the society will be based on the laws of Allah and the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who inshallah with this knowledge we can stand against our enemies and the enemies cannot penetrate into the Islamic societies. May Allah forgive our shortcomings. Now, the knowledge of the Muslim home will produce pillars of a society who will reform and guide the society aright. As uh, the Quran says and confirms, the Dalit from the Quran, Quran chapter 3, verse 110, the Quran said that, Kuntu khayra ummatin ukhriyat linnas ta'amruna bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkar. This is all that we want to achieve. Wa tu minuna billah. Allah said that there should be a, a people amongst you that you, that you Muslims, you are the best of community, the best of nations, ever being raised for the benefit of mankind, to enjoy what is good and forbid what is bad and to believe in Allah. So knowledge of the Muslim woman will help us to achieve these aims. And inshallah, if we're able to study this book very well and uh, uh, um, go according to the book, I believe that inshallah, everything will be going, is going to be all right. Demi Kanyanani said, by a busumi ye share before the book review show eh the Muslim home. Kwa beva swama ye fie Islam at naho ye nim se ye si e fie fie and a baba ye um sus um neighborhood te bay for mom te bay na te bay for to kikabu mwa na ba be society na society na be or my muka kraka and ji se a dan si de as a niema e di si e fie na e fie no se and only a kama e sound wa at let's say Ya tebe phone be be tenus to be sa or be kama. It will be a tenus ye di nyango pomra ye juma chile se is society and as or mining y naso do tumfu nyango pomra be juma. E nyango pomra ye juma, a bed is or tanfuni be bowra and kremufunimu na ababe se e juma de bia ye ye. E mesaka ni se si a sia be before the Muslim home hua, in ya sanim dienwa, and obe buama, ye be tete, and kwada any embebunwa, a bre biano juma de bi o mudieno. Yanko Pong Agene Eta Chiri, that they will have the 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 Allah consciousness, inshallah, at the back of their minds. Now so creating opportunities for meetings at home is very, very important. I don't think they're important. As um the, the, the leader of the house, you have to create this opportunity so that you and your listen, your family members can occasionally meet to discuss about important issues of the dean. And uh, you can also discuss about the problems faced, uh, uh, um, affecting your household or the problems your, your household are facing. The American say, Papa, I hear what if you and that's if you eat, you know, so who's here? I did be war the Muslim home no more. I don't want Islam running a juma 
eno be boa e be boa ama wo fie fuo di sam na be adjuma jose brano brano no wo sia wo fie fuo wo ye nhiamu ete e time table ma wo busu afuo no se da bi se da bi se ye be hia ni adwendwene islam ho mpo se nya islam go na adwendwene ho a ye ma bra bo de ne ha ye yire no ma ne ye ma no wo na afu mu han wo na afu mu han se wo 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 ta hia wo busu afuo no a wo betumi ahusa ne ma we nyina in a nutshell se me bo ne nyina tofa what i was say is that um duties of the head of the family are i've categorized them into three if you know the juma you know ma 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 boa boa no me answer number one is to acquire knowledge as i say if you need to know open him dear send your comes and nabi muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kaze search for knowledge even if it is as far from here to china was he in rain him dear mpo se kwa no wa say free her echo china just as i said you copy him dear no it's not just seeking the knowledge but teaching what you've uh, the other uh, that you've sought if you seek the knowledge you have to teach it the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in an authentic hadith said that the best amongst you are those who learns and teaches you come to me and nabi muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said mumudi odimu urade enim ni obi a wa suya na wo de akere and the fieti no e wa said say wo koko suya na wo de chere afey Ujuma dia tosu miensa. Your third duty is to practice what you've learned with your household. As I say, we um adina wako suyano. Udi ye juma. Unu ufie fwo nyina adi ye juma. No mo se ampasa adi we ye suyano ene adi ye juma. And she has one. What are some of the example? Let's say that um dua after that as God after salah, after salam. Wako wako suyano say yes salah to you. Kasta furo la, kasta furo la, kasta furo la. Allahumma anta salam. Oba na wodi abe chira wiyere no ma. Wodi chira mu wiyere. Samu ya salam wiyere. Eh sa abe biya wudi omani muna mokai. Sa na biya wudi wakwa ombe day. Ombe kai. Number two, ema zey issues of salah. Omano sa salah no brebe no mbiyere no tambe no mbiyere no sa uno mushiya. Na se wosuya sa ni mo ya ubeti mli adi. Adi achira omo. Finally, forming a society, enjoying what is good and virtuous. And forbidding what is bad and evil, because if our if, if we are able to form uh, um, these things in our home, definitely our societies will be saved. So you fear to meet the young couple, my dear Juma, baby, a teacher, no problem, be a any home. Finally, I was say men should be men and perform their duties as men. As I said, mema ye mema, no muyo muyuma say mema. We've left most of the duties as men for the women. Yeah, jam mema, um, um, as we dey any be bread, yeah, my man, no. A man who didn't go around any enemy said, I'm baby and grand to do an affair, Mosso. And he, yes, and he said, See, as soon as I do, I'm a member who no master dear, and my baby who no master dear, who be able to position now my meetings in the house, you know, I am successful. Now go for a man, yes, thank you very much, brother, uh, brother Awal Mohammed. That is creating opportunity for meetings at home. Um, now uh, moving on from you know. The man taking the responsibility, you know, to guide the family through family meetings and you know education and all that. The next thing that is of concern to us is um, uh, about conflicts in the home between the mother and the father. You know, uh, why how we should manage these conflicts and whether we should show them in front of the children or when we should um, allow some of these things to uh, go on. as far as um, papa disagreement, any conflicts, no. Um, how should we manage that name? We say in the home. Thank you very much. In every human institution where we have humans living, definitely there is going to be a misunderstanding. But be a nipper me no me and Santi Biara, a yet diamond to me who wants a babaho. But the prophet said, The strong person is not the one who can beat a thousand, a thousand people or the one who can carry the heaviest load, but the strong person is the one who can control his anger. Obese ye kasu obi ane ho dene anye obi ane ho dene obi otimi bu ni pa apem anse otimi so ade emu oduro ne obi ane ho dene ene obi otimi hye ne ho so e wa bufu mo definitely misunderstandings are going to happen it is rare for people to live together under one roof without any argument but reconciliation is better and correcting oneself is also a virtue so if these things happen the best thing is that we have to solve them internally Without even letting the 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 children in the house, that our the inhabitant of the house knows what is going on, you know the most dangerous thing is that the father will call the children and tell them that your mother have done it. Don't talk to her again, or don't go closer to your mom. The mom too will call the children. Don't talk to your father, or don't go closer to your father. 
this creates a, um, um, a household of um, confusion. You know, the people, the children become confused. They don't know what to do. They make a chance. If you be a rani pa mienu mien se timu na ya da ya min temi wase beba ho. Se ba wase si 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 yen temu oh kwa ya papa so. Se ne um yen ya dalil view Quran mo se inna al mu'minu na ahwa. O si a jidiye fu mu nyina mu ye nu anom. Fa aslihu bayna ahwaikum. Se ko ba se min temi wase biba mu temu a. Mu si si mu temu. Watak Allah. Na mu suru tu fu nya kupon wo en si si ni mu. La allakum turhamun. Se ne bayo tu fu nya kupon be sane na hu ma brane na dum egumo so. This means that if there's a misunderstanding, we shouldn't show it in front of the children. But the better thing is that we have to solve them internally. Even if the children are around, if they enter upon us to see that we are arguing, we should just pretend as if nothing is happening so that we don't put the children into a certain condition. May Allah grant us understanding and forgive us. The Ekenyan said, Say, I'm going to put my children in the house. I'm going to put my children in the house. I'm going to put my children in the house. I'm going Yane aware of one, ye ye be be a beman corano crown because ah, be be a grand seal, my mammy, and papa and term. Anya san corano, a jamo or how and granny bet imagine you will grow to me grand day any day in the abasa a hard unit. So may Allah grant us understanding and forgive us. Now, that is as far as um, misunderstandings in the home um, is concerned, how we should try as much as possible to make sure that uh, we don't get the children involved in no. some of these things. Uh, we should make sure that some of these things don't get um, the audience of um, our, our children. children, inshallah. The next thing we have to also look at is the kind of people we allow into our homes. Um, he says that um, on that point, Sheikh mentions in the book that not letting into the house anyone whose commitment to Islam is not pleasing to you. Now, so what is the details of that? Inshallah? Thank you very much. You know, like I always say that show me your friend, I'll show you your character. The truth of the matter is that, like I always say, a man is known by the company he keeps. So you must be very, very careful. The people whom you take as friends. You have to scrutinize them and know that these people will be of benefit to me, even if my in my absence, these people will be of benefit to my family. You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The likeness of a bad companion is like the one who works the bellows." This hadith was reported by Abu Dawood, hadith number four thousand eight hundred twenty-nine. Who is someone who works um, um, in the bellows? Bellows, be, a bellow means an air blower, like those who work, let's say, blacksmith. You know, they will either burn your house, burn your clothes, or you um, um, smell bad, bad odor will be in your heart, your, your, your clothes, or you smell a bad odor from him. This means that the people you allow into your home is very, very important. If you know you can't influence them, the best thing is to get them. Uh, no, get yourself uh, um, separated from these people. Else, these people are going to cause problems in your house. The American Yanni said, You can't say Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or Katra said, Was he Yenche ye or more or Mura if ye? Now, and just what they might have far or more Mura if ye, and I'm my former noun for any no more Nantimo Mura if you know. I guess it will be our year Juma or um, 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 as a dad and young for a hop where and I didn't work Juma day. And Nadiani Ejani Ejuma. Sadi Pan said, Why she who fear? Or Bessie Watadia. Why she Watadia? And I'm said, A show and a Nadia O Chichana or Nane away in Sarah Munyan was shown in Tino. Uber Muni said, And can be bad day, ever bow, and all the total Abrabona. Or two ones said, Sam Crofons offer more than four, offer a young Cobonia. Your home will be burnt with all kinds of corruption and evil. Or Muni to buy Bonnie. Any Abrabobone ever say who fee? And is the one who said, Obi Bau fee, and the Sanipan Omoa Emma Fien M. Cosua, as I said, Opa Quarib is so bet Master Sanipano. So it is our duty to help change these people. If we can't change these people, then we must say bye bye to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, in, in academia, we always say that if you can't convince them, confuse them. Mm -hmm. So if you can't convince the person, then just tell the person not to come closer to you or find a better way to get yourself away from this person. Else, 
the person is going to affect your family members negatively with his or her bad character. Now, with this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cursed one who turns a wife against a husband and the vice versa. You know, there are some people, the sole reason by why they want to befriend our wives or our husband is that they just want to separate us. How much does your husband give you? Yes, say, where was your husband? Where was your wife? I saw her chatting with this person. I saw her, I saw him doing this. I saw your husband's car at this place. I saw this, I saw that. Those people, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, we have to be very, very careful of them. Else, at the end of the day, they are going to burn our house with corruption. They will burn our house with evil. So Allah cares those people who turn wives against their husbands and husbands against their wives. May Allah grant us understanding. Amen. Now, to the wives too. Sheikh said in his book that you shouldn't feel upset when your husband or let's say your father does not allow into your house anyone in the neighborhood whom they suspect trying to cause trouble. Anyone whose dean is not up to the standard that they require. Or anyone whose character is not pleasing. Or see, any question about how much you feel, say, "Oh, Papa, I now say we can." Or can say, "Oh, we need more than we feel." I now say, "We be a money net buy." Oh, we remove fear because most of the people are dini. The people are sad like yeah. The people are not happy go. The people are just mad. They be end so any end so money ah. So I'm going to move my son. The people are end by fear why? As I say, "Oh, we need to." Any question about how much we feel because at the end of the day, no, we are not more than we buy. We be banu ungu maya. We be misano zuo. We na se nyame sumde ewa kume. Salla time beso bonse. We be banu ma bongo ma. On timi kan jose salla time asi anso nko salla. All these people must be done away with. Or we must influence them positively by helping them to overcome their negative habits. Adi ba oge bet maya pan je be bua wamo. Na wamo mo ba efi na yeni e gidi somu subani nyeno yeni bet ma bua wamo. Ama friend say. Now, an advice to the men too. Men should try to be at home as much as they can. You know, most men from work, they will just come uh, um, late in the night, they will sleep. Early at dawn, they will be at the workplace. Late in the night, they will, they will be asleep. You know, this doesn't help the household at all. You know, because the guardian's presence in the home alone Keep things under control. Atabir. You as the head of the family, your presence in the home alone keeps things under control. No one can misbehave. Because they know that my father is in the house. The head of the house is there. So if I misbehave, this is going to happen. And you must train your children to understand that even if you are not in the house, they will pray freely without somebody telling them. Now, in order to acquaint your children with this, you have to some of the time be in the house. Spend some quality time with your family members. I was seeing your bread. Ede ma ya busu ya fuo. Ye mo be bre ni bre emfa ma ya busu ya fuo. O free juwa wa kwase na mfo fuo ho. Ada wa nko juwa mkura no. No ti attire base. O free attire base ha o kwa kwada. O da ya no panu aso no kwa juma. Say we get this to attire base. Enya attire base no akoda. Ye nka say attire base nje. But at least you married a human being. Wa ware wa ba wa ware ni party na be fie. Say mo be tete nkora mo ye mie no. Ese say unya bre. Ede ma sa wa ba no. Na unu what is going on in the house? Exactly. Yes, or by how they say, at the end of course, we fear at the end of how they say, Hey, be a no, be a war in the dean, you know, and shut that a moon shut and yet to ye as a soul was any pan brano brano. So, the mere presence of the head of the house in the house, uh, in the home alone can put things in order. Secondly, um, it enables him to supervise the upbringing of the family, the presence of the head of the house alone will enable him to supervise the upbringing of the family i taught you that if it's time for prayer go and pray have you done it and if the children does that you have to reward them like we are in the month of fasting let's say we have minors children who are very very small you know we have to help them to practice how to fast let's say from dawn to let's say 10 a.m or 12 p.m alhamdulillah they are okay any uh, any of your children who is able to fast to that time, you reward them with something. Then the next day, they extend it. Or the next time, they extend it from 12 p.m. maybe to 1. So by the time you realize, when they are grown up, when they are 
in their Balaga stage, inshallah, I believe and I know that they will not find it difficult to fast. So the mere presence of the head of the house in uh, um, in the house in the home alone will enable things to move on smoothly, and you can supervise the upbringing of the family and put things right by watching and following up. So you teach your children or your family members, this is how I want you to behave, or this is how the Quran entreats us to um, live our lives. So you will be monitoring them, you will be watching them, you will be doing the follow-ups. Immediately you come back from work, you ask them, who amongst you have prayed? Those who have prayed, you give them some, you reward them. Those who have been prayed, you admonish them. Then the prophet said, when your children are, as, uh, when they reach seven years, help them, that admonish them to pray. Mm -hmm. But when they reach 10 years, if they don't pray, you can apply the cane. Yes. This is the reason why most of our sisters and brothers in the Zongo society, and even in most societies, find it difficult to pray when they are alone. Because the thing wasn't uh, um, um, uh, um, given to them when they were small. So as the head of the house, you are, after creating the opportunity, after creating the opportunity for your people to meet, that to meet your family members, you have to always try as much as you can to most of the time be in the home, be in the house, to monitor activities. Then make can say, a jaw wolf, you know, I was so in your break a cra, and the more was in your phone. Why were any papa feed? There was a brano brano, who has a dinner cause who feed, and there was not rather more the dear boom, who go a cra, or what a yano, a check on the bush and four times the deep boom, who crack check. But I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to Ye boy a brabo. Si eni en tumia, ibe tuma famala onfo. Anase ni mdiye fuo, no ma babe boy ya in. Ni hun sedi ibe tumi. Ama ye reni ya ma, afa islam na modi enyeme. Yanko pon omen ti ase. Be Allah grant us goodness and understanding. Salam alaikum. Alaik salam. Now, um, sene ye nyuya Muhammad awal akano. This means that um, for us as the men, we have a lot of work to do, no. seriously. Um, you know, making sure that uh, 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 you are always at home to check what is going on in the home. And making sure that you don't have negative people coming to the home to influence, uh, you know, uh, your children and then your wife, inshallah. Now, if you just tuned in, you are listening to um, the book review show on Mam Online Radio and TV. We are tackling the book, The Muslim Home, as we started um, some weeks ago. We are now at, you know, the stage where we are discussing meetings in the home and then, you know, what happens uh, in the home, what the father as the head of the family should do about it. Now, um, what Brother Awal just discussed fall under, you know, not letting into the house anyone whose commitment to Islam is not pleasing to you. Now, um, next thing we have to also look at, I think you have touched on a bit when you were, when you were talking about this one, but we will go more into details uh, with that, which is taking careful note of, of what family members are up to. Yeah. Now, as the head of the family, you know, um, what should be your, you know, your, your level of you know security or how you check what is going on within uh, the family as far as the members of the family are concerned and you call her no more now for why there no more yeah your wife to you know who are the people she's mingling with and what she what she up to all these things are things that you as the husband have to uh, take a look at it i think um to make things go fast you should add it to the 17th point which is may paying attention to children at home so you should look at um Taking careful note of what the family members are up to and then paying attention uh, to children at home, inshallah. So let's put this two together. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Um, once again, salamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You know, taking careful note of what family members are up to is very, very important as far as Islam is concerned. Why am I saying so? As a father and the head of the family, it is your duty. To make sure that you know who your children's friends are because these children they will definitely come home with a behavior you will either approve of or disprove no. you know if they come home with a behavior you approve of it means still you have to look for those 
their companions, those they are making friends with. No. If they come out with a behavior that the society frowns on, it means that you have to also find out whom their friends are. You know, we have many fathers that many of our fathers, our parents, they don't know our friends. Mm -hmm. Have our fathers met our friends before? No. At least you can apportion a day and ask your children to bring their friends home for you to look at them, know what they are up to, know their level of commitment to Islam mm. and to the deen. Or you can yourself visit your children's friends with your son or daughter. You don't just leave them alone with their friends, no. These days, what is happening is very, very appalling. So in order to check these things, it is better that one, we know our children's friends. Let's meet them and discuss with them their life aspirations. Discuss with them their Islamic commitment, their level of Islam. If we see that their level of commitment to Islam is very low, we can use our children as a tool to raise the standard of their Islam to the required level. The American say, as a ja anase efieni tino, webi sa hon se me mano wamo nan fufu ane wain. We siya wo mano nan fufu ane pey. Se wun nim wo mano nan fufu ane na wun siya wamo pey ya. And they would do to what said yes, I will follow a yard to Sinica crap. O Bonnibet, you miss to buy papa beer by fee. O bet you miss to buy bonny beer by fee. Or is to buy papa fee, I be a sales here for him fa. Or is to buy bonny by fee, I was here for him fa. Just as our tunes are friend and number for one who fee, and now cost row man and number for four. Now show a more kida or more Islam or yano at a say. O mi islam ya no kon kan se ne open one asa en kon kan se kon kan se ne open one en ye wet ma bo ma ba so ka jo mo se bra no bra no mo yira mu nsu ade ye se en kon kan wet ma yusu o ma no e de a page sa ne nan fofo ne islam ama o mi islam no anyini akoduru ba bi a wo pese o ma no fo o ma nan fo atagbe ye enye se bi a ye hunu se ye ma nan fo ne dinni ni wo fo mo a preocupane ye pamo mo fro mo da bi Yendi kan yesa ye be fo so ama nkora no omo aboa omo na ofo no ama omo dinni no emu apeja so omo dinni ni peja e be boa me ene o ma no ama ya bra bo no ayefe number 2 what do your children bring home from outside what who gave them the present or the the, the change in behavior where did they where did they get it from so musu ba se san ana to de ade bi a che de bi ba fi a onya no hene ade inti na nipa koro no e de ma no se wonim de je nipa koro de ma no e se se obi sem su ba bi so de ba fi e wonti a se se obi sem enya ba nko e titi akoda o da bi enda ba no gro se de to ho en kura ni bebre o ma e feda bu ta ba no e ye kasa ene se ene kura ni e den e kasa ye she lukman Eh, so to look my Quran chapter 31, verse 17. Look my chain about an assay. Oh, my nebano etty name will be as it was every verse 12 one at the by. Oh, my nebanity as it's a man in far body be and can go on so mono. Oh, by a bedroom verse 17. Yet the anima deal, your malam for yano mumputi into check. Look my gaja and the bunny say. Ya bonaya akime salata wa amuru bil ma'ruf wa nha 'anil munkar wasbir ala ma asabak in dhalika min azmil umur atakbir Lukman ka jene ban ya bonaya oh me ba na lukman don ban he loved his son keep up prayer you know so motu fu nyankopon memre hu menya kwadro be good yourself and enjoy on your friends and on the people what is good. Me ba wanka sa ye papa na sha fufura wonu amonam wonam fufuo ba bia obe hu hu biara sha wamono amonye papa. 
Ajira se ka papa ho asem kire wo mo na mo nya papa. One ha anil munkar. Afei twe ho firi bone ho. And forbid your friends from um um bad. Na twe oyonko fo e firi bone ho. Bone bia ra mo wo bia ra mo mo nti asete wo tun fo nyankopo a ye som no wo no sa nyankopo no wo mpe. Now the end of the day e do mbe ko jahannam. If they really don't want to go to Jahannam, then advise them to stop their bad habits. In Nazalika min Azmil Umur. Lukman told his son that you see what I've told you, they require courage. Yes. Allah have ordered us to do that, and they require courage in order to do it. Nyanko Pauna say as a yanyasa. Nay nyaku kudro and yet to watch any um selflessness. Any bit me there said you may do it. So we have to admonish our children, know what they bring from outside, and know our children's friends. May Allah grant this understanding. Number three, where does our daughters go and with whom? Our daughters go out with which people? Are they going out with Jim, sir? Or they are going out with any other organization? You know, there are Jim, sir, across the country, every second cycle and tertiary institution. Ask your children, especially your female children, are they involved in the activities of Jimsa? Are they members of Jimsa? What are the activities of Jimsa? You know, Jimsa will be able to bring together all the Muslim students. So if you have a daughter or a son, make sure that you know uh, um, the kind of people they go out with and you know where they go. You know, there are some children, especially the ladies, they will wear the abaya and the nice hijab, the head covering in the house. Meanwhile, when they go out, they take them out, they take them uh, um, um, away, they put them in their bags, then they wear this mini skirt and this uh, um, 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 tight clothing, subhanAllah, of which we, the parents, we are not aware of. So we must be very careful how we just leave our children, especially the females, to wander around. To go out with anybody at all. No. You must scrutinize their friendship. And know that these friends are good for my female child or my male son. Now you can say. So we will be. Especially we will be. 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 We will Training colleges. Polytechnics. Universities, yeah, what gyms are what? Ah, I can't cram of four more brunin in a bum. I actually want to join as you were two for young couple so. Any dear comes any and Nabi Muhammad the Son of Allah who Allah who was Salam or be say yeah say yeah. And if it's about the gyms and I want to come on, who join me? And then the course of activity by now what? Mudi usu mutu ya say na mudi ya day. You must put your children in check when you know so yeah. Especially on my man, when you say my man, you be sure a buyer. I will fear. When you pay no matter how rich or skinny, any secret in the end, yeah, no matter how many clubs you have. And to those who use cars, you know they will go out with the maids and the bodyguards. They will tell them to wait for me here. Let me buy something here. They are lying. They will lie to them. They will go and do their own thing and come back. Obi, I want to use car no so. So anybody got any mess in the PR? Now I catch you. I must say, Montreal, me ha, me to a day one, me ya day one haba. We need to walk away. Walk away, no hubi. We are no abano masaba tina kani ma bafi. We bra wo awo phoneo. We need. So when you na bet ma yeye, I bring biya ni abusiya no bom bom paye. Yam bom paye zanya mi bom ya abusiya no bai. Empire no ho ebo ye. So tu phonei ngoko pa emu ano. No be biara obe wura ni fie sa ni pa ni nye gidie ni agidie fo mema ni ma ni wura ni fie enu mum ene beboa se ya nye ni sa ni ka si jaye man life amo mo sa abusuan fo enu enya de a e beboa yakopon o men tia se some parents do not know their children have their possession have their have in their possession bad pictures pornographic movies and even drugs 
awu fo ni bebre ni mse ye ma no fo unu ekuta wo mo no na nka mi ni mse fo unde e ya de papa pa ya de yakor ya de fre after that no kurano ya de yeset ya de sua de e ba awu fo ni bebre ye ma no fo ni ye ni mse omo ne wa bebre o so a enye papa se enfo nyi na enye papa kasa fo nyi na enye papa eni se bebe ni wo kura enu o sise wo mo wo mo dem ye nim ti we nyina ya sede ye ye ni head of the family no ye ma ye nkwada ni nji ye ni so amu ji ye di ya abere bia o how bi o mu mu no o mu ni ye ebe ka ho asem yakopon o ma enti ase amen those who neglect their children open ways for shaitan o mu mu ja o mu ma no o mu bie kwan mo mburu nsam and you know why many people neglect their children because they want to share they want to share responsibilities when him says only a Quran here, fine. I can be busy. I see God. I be come makaranta. I see God. I be go suku. I see God. I be starti a juma. Uba we use quote if you hear day. Uba tuma and run into an IT this thing education. We are going to use ICT and ICT ne wa soa. And I say any vocational that you don't go to and the results on the banner say yeah. They continue. I think doing that you know will help us. May Allah grant us understanding. So those who neglect their children. Who, who not be left off on the terrible day of judgment, nor would they be able to flee from the horrors of the day of resurrection. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in an authentic hadith, said that Allah is going to question every shepherd or ask every shepherd about his flocks, whether he took care of them or neglected them, until he asked them or until he asked a man about his household. Allah is going to question every shepherd about his or her flocks. We are doing for you and Kupang. Obe bisa ojai we for biara. Ninja huasem. Ninja iku huasem. So what you mean to enjoy ni ye? And I want to enjoy ni ye. We are doing for you and Kupang. We are bisa eja se. We are ni fear for say. How did you take care of your children? Allah is surely going to question you on that. So, I will fly it here. Yet, yeah, 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 sorry. Muna munim de wo awa de nim, what is on grounds? The answer of the moon farm on nine si form na yen yanum e yra. Yen yanum e yra, the moon farm on nine day, en si form. You go to four and open air kwa kubisa. Almal wal banu na zina tilayati dunia. Yesika ne japadi ani de, yesika ye manin na yuasa fefedi o. Then we turn for any and cope on every kwa ko bisa ye. Then malatus alun na ya omai zin ani nae. If Allah is going to question us on every aspect of our lives, then we must take very good care of our household. In an authentic hadith, the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, said that any father or brother who is able to raise up two or three that daughters. To understand that he gave, he give them out to marriage mm -hmm. will be like this with the prophet. The prophet joined his two hands. Mm -hmm. It means you are going to be with the prophet because you'll be able to raise your two daughters or your two sisters according to the rulings of Islam to understand that they didn't fornicate. Now they are in their husbands' houses. <laughs> Fathers and mothers, we are pleading with you. Our sisters are going offhand. Help us to bring them to order. The next thing is that. It's very important to note some things here. The supervision must be subtle. Mm. What is the meaning of subtle? The supervision must be unnoticeable. It might be hard to be noticed. You know, if you have your daughter or son, make sure you supervise them. Make sure you, 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 you keenly have interest in what they do day in, day out. But it must be subtle. Mm. It might be unnoticeable. There should not be, there shouldn't be a terrorizing atmosphere. You know, some fathers, the only way they address or the only moment they address their children mm. are that when maybe they come and their food is not ready. Yeah, my dear, no way. Can't say that they No, turn out the proper way. You know, we have proper ways of addressing our children. Mm. You are in the marriage institution. We are now coming. So all these things can be ensured if the super, supervision is subtle. Any question more moves a monitor woman. 
na dam for ne hwan eno kwa e manu hu se wo monitor no oni hwan ne pie e manu hu se wo monitor no be o se wo monitor no wa na oni na din komo e fa ne nam fofo ho sheikh munajid oma instance be say there are some parents they have a computer mm. on which they record the uh, and bad deeds and good deeds of their children on no we are not in school no sometimes we have to ignore them sometimes but not always i thought i was here here anymore i was here here i was here here i was here here i was here so the child will not be made to feel that he or she is not trusted and you can see mom god i don't know say you want to need i'm going to get my genie like myself i always agree to disagree so person will be tear some of our company and you panic as a genie Ude di kaya jini di, ujini di wye na wa asem ka, obe yi ya aswa aya day, eti ye di ya wokana. Let's say se, we shi ya, akete ye si ya bi ya wondresi ye wabontini. We shi ya nwa, ah, kremoni ba ba pa, nwa dresi basa asi. E ma amis, habi na mo bwande ya mwa mo, it's good. U tu no fo, ne wa nye kwa empano no. Ube ti ma freno. O freni pa ne ben wa. Ube ti ma prezi no, o wata ade ye fe pa. O tini nyo ye fe pa wu. I said, I want to say, I'm a fepa. Name mum, Miss Susu say, and Kamaya Figusu are a bear fepa. Miss Susu say, I said, I want to say, what are they? Kayata, the tinting, and any you shape on one. We can be be as a car, and we are seeing your own car more fe. A bassa nippano, obey tea and seven or can. So the child must not be made to feel that he was his not trusted. And yes, I assemble a becker piano, obey your throat. But for what lie he mean, I've never been the one lie, father, I swear. But you realize that the person was there. Well, lie me in fine zone connection in the bottom because your mind atmosphere is terrorizing. Bibia ni kutaba, bibia ni abu bon kona zoom basa basa. No, you know that should be the last resort. I was saying I did be a chat walker. You guys here they share here. May Allah get understanding. The fourth thing is that advice and or punishment must be measured against the ages of the children, their levels of understanding. And the extent of the wrongful behavior. You know, there are some parents eh? if their children air today, they will cane them tomorrow. If they air today and you cane them tomorrow, they don't know why you cane them. So I could go to a war, sorry, I for money, no, I should have a young boy, and I would have brought out to a young boy, and I know. Well, for more than was over Tiana and what Tiana net to the one no ever Tiana or Pemis say the last resort to know where you saw about. A balance the young guys at Bunukuno, there be. And yet, and David, and yet Bunukuno. Tianica Kramons, a dear way of eating out Tiano. What is the aim of punishment? To reform, is that not it? To reform the individual. That's why we punish. And to watch you, but I went to Graca said, Ebia, she can't be mouth two cities. A dear way to remember one city. I'll cut your distance, your expenses, your pocket money. I'll cut it down. A Korabia, Yamisoni, Mumos, and Yemeshino. Or the Labian and Zika Metaman, I will not buy it for you. The child will change for better. May Allah grant us this ability. Beware of negative methods of checking on children and making them feel that their every move is being watched. That's why I said it should be subtle, it should be unnoticeable. And you can see a man Koran, you say, Be beyond be a bia, you do a tell one and your papa. So I was moved on what it is. I want to watch a ten one. A brand new one, watch a ten or no. Obey our dear papa. Say ni paro jiten ni wa. Obey ye bone. May Allah forgive us and grant us understanding. Mm -hmm. I also know of people. Sheikh is saying that he also knows of people at the other extreme who refuse to get involved in their children's affairs at all, claiming that the child will not be convinced that a mistake is a mistake or a sin is a sin unless he does it and he finds out for himself that it's a mistake. This thing, that's the white man's ideology. That leave your children alone. Let them do whatever they want to do. Later on, if it doesn't help them, they will see that, oh, it, it is of no benefit. They will not do it again. So, bro, if you want to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to Then what is your responsibility as a parent? Now, I want to know, no, that's not a good way of bringing up our children. This deviant idea comes from being weaned on ideas of Western philosophy. Say, oh, Abrofone say, whilst Islam have given up 
uh, um, the ways of what bringing up our children. You know, on the day of judgment, Allah is going to question us. Now, paying close attention to our children in the home, we have to teach them one how to memorize the Quran and Islamic stories. You know, I have a younger brother. After every fajr, every Saturday fajr, I have a story that I share with him. Well, I, and the next time I will share a different story, he is able to remember every story I shared with him the other time. And my brother's son is called Siraj. That boy, every story that you share with him, he remembers and he takes something out of it. He will be questioning you, uh, what the essence of this story? Uh, so what happened? So what happened? So what happened? So you see that he is interested in what you are saying. It is not always that you leave our children to listen to listen from the cassette, that's the home audio library, or read from books. No, sometimes we need to tell them the stories ourselves, especially like, let's say the story of let's say uh, um, um, the young people who fought for Islam, the story of people who sacrificed their lives for Islam, the story of, um, um, let's say, Abu Bakr, the story of Omar, the story of uh, um, um, Yaqub. We have to teach them all of these things. So teach your people all these, especially memorization of the Quran, and let them recite it to your hearing. Even if you don't know how to recite, make sure each and every time they are with their ustas, their mala who teach them, Memorize the Quran, recite it to their hearing. If it is good, Alhamdulillah. May Allah grant us understanding. So, these days, we have young children who have memorized Surah to the Kaf. Every Friday, young children will be reciting Surah to the Kaf off head without looking into any material. You want more for Quran? Can you get on my Surah to the Kaf? 110 ayat. On my children, you know, the other one we In some of our banners, we have to say, "I'm going to tell you more." We will just say, or bear shia and never be free and a day a frame after we have to teach our children good manners good manners good manners good manners is very very important i was here today and quad i know soup my pa and he said yes he can occur the prophet said in the sudika yadi ilal birri wa in al birra yadi ilal jannah truthfulness leads to goodness and goodness leads to what Janna. Was he no kuraka ku we papa na papa eko ku we al janna? In Tabrebia no, shall manu kutupa, mamon kana kure. Se waya bonu of you wanna paya de we daddy mena me paye no man shada men ye biu. No wa bonabas wapet to physical be man de go to fe sa no kura no wa kaya wa lie so much a lie. If we reward them for speaking the truth, definitely every day they are going to speak the truth. Now the wakata daddy mina mpaya na wa tamaba funke wa bunepra next time. He did it by that, that wallahi. I haven't even uh, I'm gone near this thing. Papa, me don't have me in course. I did with him cry. So we have to teach our children good manners. And uh, the azkar prescribed by Islam, for example, for eating. So they did their uncle saying, What should they say before they eat? After they eat, what should they say? What should they say before they sleep? After sleeping, or when they wake up, what should they say? When they sneeze, or when somebody sneezes, what do they say to the person? Um, when they are greeting, what's the best form of greeting? Um, quite papa and the first watch here. We are good morning, and I say, Salam alaikum, and I say, I am Soma, and I am Terry, and I am Jimari. This in Walla, but you call me a Mikrum Casa. Or is it Salam alaikum? You have to teach them the correct form of greetings and teach them to ask permission before taking or entering any uh, anywhere. If they want to take something, you should ask permission. If they want to enter your room, the class, everywhere, in um, um, anyone's room, they have to seek for permission before they are allowed to enter. Then stories like the story of Nuh, peace be upon him, and the flood. This is a very nice story I learned and I heard when I was very young. And it's still with me. So you have to tell these people the story of Nuh and the flood. The story of Ibrahim. And how he broke the idols. He was very long, very young, but he broke the idols. And how he was thrown into fire. And the story of Musa being saved from Fir'auna. We have to teach our children all of this. So, in a nutshell, we should make sure that children play. Also play in both entertaining. And their play is both entertaining and purposeful. So, I grow up in the world. I grew up in the world. I grew up in the world. Recently, Baby, I'm a child, and I'm going to be a girl. 
na mi se fie me ti ya ne ba ho ka se o ma me kete me de se ho na o ma me ba ko what and you make crack it to out na crack it don't dey get test o mo bi ba me ba ko out ready me pin me from the hey akwada nto sa nwu we mu ti ye o mo yes sir since then as say abo mo so i was here telling kurad agro bi o mu die no e was o mu su ade e nya say e jangra say agro bi a o mu ndi me ala gan say understand so in a nutshell i'm saying that we should put our children into check and we should make sure that they don't notice it is unnoticeable so at the end of the day allow guide our children aright so that we attain our jannah peacefully and successfully may allah grant us understanding uh, inshallah now um, thank you very much um brother idris muhammad awal now um this has been very comprehensive seriously has been very very comprehensive our time um, is almost up so um i will just take one more Yes, I think I'll just take one more on the meetings in the home. Yeah. The rest, I think, are a bit technical and would require more time. Inshallah. So, with those ones, we'll move them to next week or next inshallah. two weeks, inshallah. inshallah. Um, so, before I let you come up with the last one, I have some good news for listeners and viewers. Um, your phone is spots, or maybe you have an issue with your phone, or you don't have a phone at all. Just take a car, go to a room, and ask for being Musa phones. Um, yes. Be Musa phones, any kind of phone that you want. If you want the best of phones or accessories, you go to Be Musa phones. Inshallah, you get one. Also, there is another shop at PZ. Also, another shop at um, Bantama. Inshallah, if you ask of Be Musa phones, you will get the location and you can get your phone uh, at very moderate prices. Uh, inshallah, apart from phones, you want you know those small small players, headphones, headsets, and all that. You are going to get some at um, Be Musa phones, and then also. Um, those of you who use cars, you have any issues with your, with cars, you need uh, your spare parts or anything, you can contact B Adams Trading, B Adams uh, Trading, also at uh, Swami Magazine. If you just get to the post office and you ask for B Adams, inshallah, they'll give you the location. And then also, um, education, like we have been mentioning, is very, very important. And if you are giving your child education, you have to give your child comprehensive education. Yes education that includes both Islamic and then secular. Lam. And if you are searching for one of the best schools, or if you are searching for a school, an ideal school that you can give your child such uh, comprehensive education, it, uh, it's no other than Leading Edge Academy. Leading Edge Academy. If you get to Parkoso and you ask for Leading Edge Academy, everybody will show you. It's in Parkoso Kumase. Um, so, parents who want to um, give your children some very good education, you, you don't want you want them to have the secular it's education. Boring. You want them to have the secular education and also have the Islamic education as well. Um, send them to Leading Edge Academy located uh, at Parkoso uh, in Kumase, inshallah. Also, um, Al Qasim Company Limited, the dealers in computers, TV sets, cameras, uh, laptops, and all that. Um, it's also located at Adum Opsit Miracle Forms near Topman shoes inshallah these are our sponsors and these are the people that have made it possible for this program to come on and also i would like to remind listeners and viewers that our program our flagship program uh, known as the member the member uh, the finals of the member is coming off next week sunday 10th of june 10th of june next week sunday at islamic senior high school mosque uh, uh, um, and then it will be in the morning around 9 a.m. Inshallah. So let's all head towards that uh, uh, venue, and then um, enjoy. You know, we, we have we started from the you know the prelims. We went to the first eviction, the second eviction, and now we are the finals. We have the best of the best, and they are going to as we are all aware. We have the people who are going to uh, give dawa. We have those who are going to give. Um, 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 hadith drama and those who are going to also recite the Quran, inshallah. If you, if you want to see the voice of Islam tomorrow, you want to you want to know where our children are heading towards. Come to Islamic Senior High School uh, on 10th June, and let's um, encourage these children and let's support them as they struggle to do their best. You know, as some children are uh, uh, exhibiting their talents in music and entertainment and things that do not have any benefit to them in this world and in the hereafter. These are children who are struggling in the path of Islam. There's the Hadith, the Quran, and also the Dawah. So let's support this. Um, if you want, to, if you want more information about this program, or if you want to support this program, um, you can call zero two seven four six 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 four 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 or zero two four six seven five one one seven five. The numbers again: zero two seven four six 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 four 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 or zero two zero zero seven seven three three. 
0809-5867-67. Inshallah. Um, Malam Idris Muhammad Awal. Um, to our last point for today, so that um, <coughs> we, uh, next week next week we'll be looking at the reevaluation of the women's work outside the home, and then also the confidentiality, which is uh, keeping family secrets. These two are quite, you know, they are two, just two, but uh, they will require some in-depth discussion. Uh, the last thing we are going to look at today is being strict in adhering to schedule for meat, meals and bedtime in the home, inshallah. Oh, my Allah, is understanding. He um. said, Malam, Idris, you are well, Muhammad. Oh, I'm not Malam. Uh, you know, the Malams are there. We are just learning from them, inshallah. How's that by say, Al-Majrifu, inshallah. May Allah grant us the best. Um. Now, being strict in ad adhering to a schedule for meals and bedtime. As the head of the house, <laughs> this thing is very, very important. Yes. You have to adhere to the schedule for meals and bedtime. Before I go there, let me jump back a bit about paying attention to children at home. One, um, you have to separate your boys and the girls in their sleeping arrangements. I forgot to, to, to include that. Yes, you have to separate your boys and girls from their sleeping, especially in their sleeping arrangement. Boys should have their sleeping place and girls should have their sleeping place. Girls should respect boys' privacy and boys should respect girls' privacy so that nothing chaotic should happen. Because these days, what our children are exposed to, if we leave them to be sleeping together, heh, something may happen which most have already happened which we don't have we don't want to want them to happen again the next one is you have to play joke and show affection to your children you know at least at least every day your children needs to feel a touch from you i will say they be a little me don't suffer for the three ones they be also no more and i can't know emma who said affection fatherly love motherly love or no ever back to my main topic being strict in adhering to a scheduled time for meals and bedtime. You know, most of our houses are like hotels. Where the people who live there hardly know one another and hardly ever meet. You know, in a hotel, we are all there. We all came to get a place. So you have no business what I'm doing. I have no business what you are doing. Most of our houses... We've left them to be like hotels. Some children eat whenever they want. They sleep whenever they want. We lead to them staying up late and wasting their pressure time or eating on a full stomach, which doesn't help at all. The air can say, if you any baby, I a hotel. I yani a wahono, yan ten shia Obi an sia no ho obi anim ne yonko e pa sa e moa e fie asetena e fie akwese sa ye ntan sia no o bo se en kwada no ta mo mpe do mudidie ta mo mpe na dodo no ada obi o wa na jopa ba ye 10 11 afen wo didie obi wa ba ye wan na won nai o ye den you know some are students especially based on the level of your children sometimes you have to excuse some of these you know, some students they learn late into the night. The woman they are waiting for something at this time, woman now. But those who are not doing anything, you as a father and a mother, you have a responsibility of ensuring that they sleep at the right time, they eat at the right time. You know, Islam frowns upon waste of time. Islam embraces the best cyber. No, even in Salah, in a Salah, Takiana, Talal Mumini, Nakita, Bamaukota. Salah have been prescribed on the believers on timely basis. And Allah swore many times in the Quran by time. Well, Asr, well, Fajr. Allah is always swearing with time. So as a Muslim, you must be disciplined as far as your children are concerned. Teach them 
that the prophet said we should eat at the correct time, even in the eating, we should divide our stomach into three. One for food, one for water, then one for that's air, so that we can breathe properly. But some children, because they are eating unsupervised, they eat on a full stomach to understand that some of them even can't breathe very well. So as a head of the family, you have to make sure you have a scheduled time in your house that this is the time that we eat in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Breakfast time is this, lunch time is this, dinner time is this. By this time, everyone has to sleep except those who are studying. Sabre was a subiada, a jewomua, or musia, a dieno. If you say this chaos leads to a weakening of family ties and a waste of time and energy. Say, I'm show me any any mana and sianians just am reweya, and my busiano, asi bubu, and say a busiano. Wouldn't so banada, no no be chate. Wouldn't so sian, and no no be ya de emphata. So it's very, very important. Say, you better. You have to be strict in adhering to the scheduled time for meals and bedtime. You could excuse those who have legitimate reasons because students, male and female, may have different times of leaving school and universities. You have to know why. Why is it that my ward, my female child, or my male son is sleeping over? At his friend's place or her friend's place. What is happening? What happened? You vacated yesterday or you vacated in the morning. Why is it that you are coming at this time? Oh, Father, you know there was traffic jam, there was this, there was that, and you confirm that it's true. Fine. Number two. Assalamu alaikum. Number two. You have to also know that some of them, because of their quality they are offering, they will, they will study late into the night. So if they study late into the night, you have to help them to at least uh, um, 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 get a scheduled time to study and a time to sleep. Because their body to requires that you sleep so that you get uh, uh, um, good health. May Allah grant us understanding. Amen. The next thing is that, <clears throat> inshallah. The next thing is also that um, you you after excusing all of this. All of uh, the children, that's the males and females, based on their school distance. So, there is nothing that nicer than a family gathering together at the table and making the most of this opportunity to ask how everyone is and to discuss uh, uh, the useful topics. How is Janaba performed? How is Tayamum performed? Uh huh. Who wronged you in school? What happened today on your way to the market? What happened today in Makaranta? What happened when you were going to the mosque? What did you see? What did your friends say? You know, you have to engage your family in all these things. Useful topics in Islam. You have to let them, you have to acquaint them with all these. The head of the household has to be strict in setting a time for everyone to be back home. Yes. And in insisting that everyone ask permission before going out, especially those who are young, whether in terms of chronological age or mental age, as it were, for whom they might have kids. So finally, what I'm saying is, at the head of the family, you have to insist that your children go out with permission, or they don't go out except with permission. And what kept them long in the uh, outside? The time that they should eat, the time that they should sleep, it should be of interest. To you, the Father, may Allah grant us understanding. Mm -hmm. So, with this, we suggest that with this we can have a wonderful um, building blocks for our household. When you have a wonderful building blocks for our household, you will have a wonderful neighborhood. When you have a wonderful neighborhood, you have a wonderful society. Then you have a wonderful life. Then finally, we will enter a wonderful Jannah. May Allah mm -hmm. grant us understanding. Um, um, uh, thank you very much. Um, Malam or Sheikh Idris Muhammad Awal. Um, this has been the book review show on Mam Online Radio and TV, brought to you 
um, by the likes of B. Musa Fons, B. Adams um, Trading, uh, Leading Edge Academy, Al Qasim Company Limited. Um, uh, we, were, we have been discussing the book, The Muslim Home, written by Sheikh Mohammed Saleh Al Munajid. Um, this has been our third episode, right? And inshallah, next week we will not be able to come. So, next two weeks, uh, we will come and then deal with two aspects of the last part that we were discussing, which is confidentiality in the home and then, um, you know, um, the, uh, work of the woman or the work of the woman at home. Um, you know, whether she should work in the house or she should work outside. You know, there has been, you know, some kind of controversial discussion concerning whether the woman should be at home or should be working. And this will be tackled um, next two weeks when we meet, inshallah. Um, Inshallah, next week, Sunday, like I mentioned um, earlier, we have the finals of our flagship program, the Mimbar. This, this program is a program that we are using to encourage our little children and to groom them on the path of Islam. And um, you should be there. It's going to be at Islamic Senior High School, uh, Masjid Compound. And let's all be there and witness this kind of talent that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon our children, inshallah. So we pray and hope that um, next two weeks we will meet and then um, we will continue with what we are doing. Uh, next week too, let's try and be at Islamic uh, Senior High School. The time is um, the time is 9 a.m. in the morning. Next week, Sunday, 10th uh, uh, June 2018, inshallah. Let's be there and be part of this history. Inshallah. Until then, we greet you all with the best of salutation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Allah, ya 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 Allah, Mr. Temeka, engineer, vum, namat yesi Minina, a B. Adams Trading Enterprise Limited. Michelle B. Adams, no. Minina, her biya o meka a humbi. Owo engines, edema kas, akesyen in ketwe nina. Owo ma battery bits, miye chwe mfini miye nu edo komi yensa. B. Adams, Trading Enterprise Limited. Ever my break fluid, oil filters, and in propano engine oil, or best of our car, or set up your engine in Bechama, or shell, coil, or total. And you know when I swear, you could cry, be Adams, and they like